Spill is brought to you by Monza, Walker Valley's best partner. Now will everyone stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now will everyone bow their heads for a moment of silence. And I'm Aaron. Your top story for the day is Quest for its finalist. Last year we all applied to the College Prep Scholarship, which was a program to help us get ready to apply to Questbridge, which is the scholarship pro program that we're all applying to now for colleges. And my first choice is Vanderbilt. Um, well, I'm Cameron Mailing, and so this scholarship is a multifaceted program of essays and marking down our accomplishments and our achievements, which is a tedious process, but we all know if we complete it, it'll end up putting us somewhere that we wouldn't be able to be without this. So in the end, it'll be a positive thing if we can get accepted, but it's just a long and effortful uh, endeavor. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and my first school would be Stanford, but I'll take anything on the list. Um, so, I'm Kendall Mailing, and the Questbridge actually has 36 partner colleges, and you're allowed to apply to 12 at a time. So, I'm actually applying to nine schools, and those schools are Princeton, Stanford, Yale, Brown, Vanderbilt, Northwestern, and Rice University. Um, and there's uh, universities for all kinds of people, um, from small cities to large cities to, um, you know, metropolitan areas. You also have different uh, sorts of institutions, from liberal arts to research universities. Uh, research institutions. Um, so there's actually a variety for everyone that would like to apply to the Questbridge um, you know, network and it's actually quite a good experience. So, And my number one school is Princeton. So my name is Amber Bell and about mid-October we found out that we were finalists. So on December 1st we'll log on again to see if we matched with the school and if we match they agree to pay for four years of everything and we have to go there. So we'll find out on December 1st. And my first choice is Vanderbilt. I'd like to say congratulations to all four candidates and what a great accomplishment that is, not only for Walker Valley, but for Bradley County Schools to have such superior students in our district. And we know that you will get the uh, school of your choice, which is phenomenal, but to even be presented with the opportunity to tell the world what you've done is outstanding. And uh, we are also very, very proud of you, and we hope that future students look at this and say, I want to do that too. So you're setting a model for the future students and we appreciate that and all that you do. Now let's take a look at today's announcements.
Attention hiking club members. We will be taking our second hike on Saturday, November 14th. We will be hiking the 12 mile Fiery Gizzard Trail in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Backpacker, Backpacker Magazine has ranked this hike as one of the top 25 trails in the United States. Please see Ms. Tipton or Ms. Shrestha for a permission slip. Friday, November 6th is the deadline to sign up. This hike is for experienced hikers only. If any 10th or 11th grade student is interested in Governor's School for 2016, please stop by guidance for information. Applications are due in the first week of December. Please see Ms. Akiona or Ms. McClanahan ASAP. The National Honor Society will begin conducting the annual food drive starting this Friday, October 30th, during, class, during first block classes. All first block classes will receive one turkey feather per canned food item or 50 cent donation. The goal is to add as many feathers as you can to the turkeys, hanging on each door. This will continue through Thursday, November 5th. The first block class that gets the most feathers will win a fabulous breakfast compliments of NHS. Please help walk about and get back to our community. Come join us for the first teacher co costume contest on October 30th through an activity period. Tickets will be $2 on sale Tuesday, October 27th through Friday, October 30th in the choir room or during lunch. Come see which teachers can be the most creative in their costume. Now it's time for your question of the day. picture. I think they're stupid and we don't need them. This is what happens to your ID. I would like them if I didn't have to pay for them. I think that they are great and they keep the school protected from intruders. Go Walker Valley. They suck. It makes me feel safer. I don't like IDs. They suck. My name's Laura and I love my ID so much that I get made fun of because I wear it to church. Uh, I think they're pretty dumb. Yeah, me too. Alright, IDs. I love that we're wearing IDs. And I love that we have these lanyards that you can put pieces of flare on. Maybe you want 21 pieces of flare. I don't know what you want. Put as many on there as you want. Wear your IDs and we'll all look awesome together. It's easier than remembering a lunch code. <laughs> They're okay. I feel like a dog with a leash. If you are a freshman who has previously not been in beta club, come to B111 for an application. Please bring your report card. The deadline is Friday, October 30th. Seniors, the Tennessee Promise application deadline is November 2nd. To make sure you don't miss this opportunity, there is one more chance for you to get assistance with our application on October 28th during MAP in the Media Center. There will be staff available to sit down with you and walk you through the process. Your third block teachers will have passes available for the CCRT sessions. By completing the Tennessee Promise application by November 2nd deadline, your name will be entered in the drawing for a $25 iTunes gift card. There will be two winners selected. Don't miss this opportunity for two free years of college tuition. FBLA members, pick up your coffee order forms in MCLA 3. Forms and money are due by November 2nd. Members, you must sign up for a competition by October 30th. Lip Sync Battle of the Academy student act registrations are due by November 5th to your Academy leads. Music must be pre-approved and must be 2 minutes and 10 seconds in length. Auditions for the musical Mary Poppins will be November 2nd, 4th, and callbacks on the 5th if you are interested in auditioning. Please come to the choir room door to get your audition material. There will be two help sessions on the 19th and the 21st during CCRT time to learn the audition piece. If you need a pass to come to one of those sessions, please see Ms. Oren, Mr. Work, Ms. Barnes, or Mrs. Hunt. Please sign up for an audition time on the choir room door. Students wishing to participate in the 2015 Christmas Memories slash Empty Stocking program must come by the media center to sign up before October 29th in order to attend the informational meeting, which will be held on Monday, November 2nd during CCRT time. 
Now let's take a look at this week's Gaming Corner. Got a gaming here today. I'm here with AA Ron, and we're going to be giving you a few updates on what's going on in the gaming community. So, Star Wars! Not quite! Battlefront is coming out, but we're not talking about Battlefront right now. We're talking about a Darth Maul game. A game that was originally cancelled, but now EA is supposedly picking up the license. According to one specific partner, which we refer to only as the D word, They've said pretty much EA is the only ones allowed to make Star Wars games. So either EA can finish this, or it'll go on their big pile of games that they've started and they have never completed. That's probably a really big pile. Oh yeah, it's a very big pile. Recently, this week, Halo 5 came out! Halo 5 Guardians! Woo! My internet's slow. I can't download it. That's it's sad. taken me days. It got to 95 and then it had to cancel and I had to restart back at 1. I'm angry. That's sad. You should. Great. Anyway, hey, we got Coop in the room? Cooper. Whoa. Come here. Everybody look at this. This is Coop. That's Coop. What do you think about, um, pretty much, oops. Censor that. What do you think about, uh, the D word? Pretty much saying he is only allowed to make, uh, the Star Wars games. I think EA needs to bring back NCAA football. That'd be nice if they could focus on that. Now, EA is having to pick up the new Star Wars license because the D word says they're the only ones allowed to make it. So now they're trying to make a huge profit, which they absolutely can't. It's Star Wars. How are they not going to make profit off of that? But now they keep piling on games that are probably never going to be finished, like the Darth Maul game. Yeah, they never finished NCAA 16. They didn't. It is a very lonely war for unfinished games. Star Wars Battlefront is coming out in, what, two weeks? Pretty sure. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Whatever. Uh, if it's not two weeks, then get over it, because if I say two weeks, guess what? They're gonna change it to two weeks. Why? Because I'm a... I'm a gamer! And I also do YouTube, so they have to do what I say. I was pretty sure that's how it works. So, along with the D-word saying that EA is the only place that's allowed to make Star Wars, and the fact that Halo 5 Guardians just came out this past week. Life is Strange Episode 5 came out two weeks ago. And I believe it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies coming out uh, next week. Sure. I think it's it's going to be a good game. Okay. It's going to be a great game. I'm only going to get it for the zombies, let's be honest. I was watching one of the trailers where it showed Dempsey, Rigtop, and Nikolai, and Takio all together. And I just thought, man, now i got to get Black Ops 3. That's it for your gaming corner this week. Check out next week for more, and for now, I'm Gunny Gaming. I'm here. Stay awesome, guys. Ready? Ooh. Now it's time for a quick commercial break, and then to Cooper with your Walker Valley Sports.
of the day is NBA, the National Basketball Association. <laughs> Walker Valley Sports. Sponsored by Mix 104 Home for Walker Valley Sports. Hey, Walker Valley, I'm Cooper here with your Walker Valley Sports. The football team has a huge game Friday at Udawal starting at 7.30. It's winter go home for the Mustangs, so we need everyone to come and support. There will be a boys tennis meet, meeting on Tuesday, November 3rd in Coach Long's classroom, G201, right after school for anyone interested in playing tennis this year. Well, that's all for your Walker Valley Sports today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates on your Mustangs. I'm Cooper, and now to the legendary Scott Webb with your weather and your five-day forecast. Walker Valley Weather, sponsored by Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Meltatron. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's currently 55 degrees outside with clear skies. It's going to be 62 degrees, the low of 45 today. Now let's take a look at your radar. If you take a look at the radar, you can see there's nothing going on in the area this day. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon this day, so enjoy your day. We will have some clouds coming in this weekend. Chance of rain on Sunday, but all in all, it should be a nice weekend. Now let's go ahead and look at your five-day forecast. You can see cloudy over cloudy skies gonna have a chance of rain Sunday into Monday and it will continue into early that's week next week well that's gonna do it for your weather today I'm coach Scott Webb the legendary coach Scott Webb according to Cooper Melton uh, go Mustangs you can uh, follow the the uh, <coughs> <laughs> You would think I knew how to do this. Uh, for more information on your weather, go to wrcvtv.com. And, you know, I'm not as good as Abby, so now back to your host. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Spill TV. Like us on Facebook or check out The Spill app, available on iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Well, that's all for your show today. For a complete recap of The Spill, check out our YouTube channel. I'm Jolie. I'm Aaron. And I'm going to beat Kentucky. Go Vols. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stand up, get out, down. get up, salute to the dying sun, salute right to the I don't know what you heard, I don't care what they say. I'm gonna rep my Mustangs every single day. Yeah. We got that blue and gold pride. And